Good morning, everybody. I'm so tired. I got like three hours of sleep last night. So last night was movie night. I got a call about 7.30. One of our good friends, um, him and his girlfriend got in a fight. And uh, he grabbed his gun and took off. And so I got home about 3 o'clock this morning looking for him. Uh, still haven't found him. Still haven't heard from the sheriff's office. They've been looking for him all day, all night. I don't know where he's at, but... I mean... <clears throat> the whole... The whole 22 push-ups a day for a veteran for suicide... I mean, that's, that's pretty nice, but it doesn't fix the problem. You know, and... I'm not saying, like, I've done the challenge back when it was 21 veterans a day... You know, I did the challenge, thinking it was helping, thinking it was bringing awareness, but it, it really looks cool on Facebook, and it really looks cool on Instagram, and it looks cool like people care, but people live off the, uh, people live off the highlights of social media. You know, they don't, they don't really post their, their down, their whatever But there's got to be more <clears throat> that we can do to help these veterans, the uh, just people in general. You know, because like the guy we went looking for last night, you look at him and he looks like his life is perfect and his life is amazing. But inside, inside he's not okay. And it's sad. Because he's been coming here for a long, long time. He's, he's part of our coffee family, you know. And, and it's, you know, you have places in the valleys for vets, supposedly. But they, they don't help out as many people as they could. I don't, I don't think anyway. Like, I had a friend whose dad passed who was a veteran. And he does a lot for the military. He trains a lot of people. His uh, son's in the military. You know, his family's in the military. Well, his dad passed, and he wanted an honor guard at his uh, dad's funeral. And there was a couple other people who wanted honor guards at their funeral. And they was too busy sitting in their office. You know, they couldn't throw a uniform on and go help. They're too busy helping people, but, you know. It's, it's sad. You know, and I, I thought I knew a bunch about vets until I opened the store. Like, I still don't know a lot about vets, and I still don't know a lot about what they have went through, and, <clears throat> I'm glad that a lot of them feel comfortable enough to come talk to us about their issues and their problems and we actually I don't know we have a <clears throat> we have a bullet in my case from one that was going to actually do the same thing that my friend did yesterday and said we saved his life so he's a great guy he's come a long long ways and it's awesome but there's more we can do. There's got to be more we can do. And there's 15,000 veterans in this valley. And you wouldn't believe it. You would, By looking at a lot of them, you would have no idea there was a veteran or there was all this stuff. But we just got to come together and figure out how to help. Like, I try, and I don't do enough, you know. Like last night, we had seven or eight vets here watching a movie when I took off. And it's nice to see them all just sit down and, and bullshit and talk. And, <clears throat> and just be normal. 
because a lot of them you look at them and you think they're just they're normal but they have some pretty big battles going on inside I've heard some stories that just it's just horrible like I don't even yeah but said the 22 push up thing looks really cool on your Facebook but there's got to be more you can do and I really don't know how but um yeah once again thank you guys thanks for your help I'm gonna open my store as soon as my keys get here so hopefully we see you today come in give me a bad time tell me jokes cause I'm gonna be tired as shit come in have a good time love you guys thanks